alive, how proud he would have been to witness this great sight at Clydebank last September. Queen Elizabeth II, the world's most advanced luxury liner, was launched. Today, several hundred miles away at East Molesey in Surrey, they're working on luxury-style safety for the new liner. A firm of boat builders is building 20 lifeboats for the latest Queen of the Seas. The lifeboats are designed to give all the ships 3,000 passengers and crew a place of safety if it were ever needed. Some of the craft will be used on occasion for ferrying passengers to and from shore while the liners on cruise work, in addition to their basic purpose. There's no lack of comfort. Queen Elizabeth II will be one of the world's safest ships when she begins her career early next year. She'll also rank among the most modern and certainly the most luxurious as this model of her displayed at London's Design Centre shows. Princess Margaret had opened an exhibition there called QE2, a first look inside the new Cunada. She seemed very happy with what she saw. This is a typical example of the cabin comfort passengers will enjoy. The princess, who was accompanied by Lord Snowden, saw examples of the work of ten designers who have been planning the Cunard Liner's interior since 1965. When the sleek, luxury greyhound of the seas casts off next year, she'll set a wonderful new standard of passenger comfort of which Britain can be proud. 